Hi, in this video I will tell you about our recent paper reporting about the development of mucoadhesive vaginal films. Vaginal administration has traditionally been used for delivery of contraceptive agents and hormones as well as for local therapy of infections. This route of drug administration offers several advantages, including the possibility to avoid first-pass metabolism, ease of administration, and high permeability for small molecules. The vagina is a self-cleansing organ with the help of natural mucosal secretions with a weakly acidic pH. Many conventional formulations suffer from poor retention in the vagina. Therefore, the development of drug delivery systems with improved retention is of great interest. There are a variety of dosage forms used for vaginal drug delivery. This includes gels or creams, tablets, pessaries, elastomeric rings, and films. Vaginal films can be designed from different water-soluble polymers or their combinations. One of these materials could be designed from chitin, a polysaccharide present in the exoskeleton of crustaceans. When chitin is deacetylated, it results in formation of chitosan, a cationic water-soluble polysaccharide which exhibits strong mucoadhesive properties. Also, water-soluble polymers may have a fully synthetic origin. For example, a ring-opening polymerization of 2-ethyl-2-oxazoline results in formation of a non-ionic polymer with poor mucoadhesive properties. Both these polymers are commercially available and their combination could offer an interesting opportunity in the design of films with modulated mucoadhesive properties. Recently, we have published a paper reporting the development of mucoadhesive films for ocular drug delivery. We have also demonstrated that chitosan and polyoxazoline form fully miscible blends. In this work, to prepare these films, weakly acidic aqueous solutions of chitosan and polyoxazoline were mixed, poured into petri dishes and dried at room temperature for several days. Some of these films also included ciprofloxacin as a model antibiotic. These films were extensively characterized by measuring their thickness, weight, folding endurance, transparency, and surface pH. All these studies indicated that the films are potentially suitable for vaginal application. They were quite durable and had a weakly acidic pH acceptable for vaginal administration. Antimicrobial properties of these films were evaluated against Staphylococcus aureus and Escherichia coli using disc diffusion method. Drug-free films did not show any suppression of bacteria growth for Staphylococcus aureus but did demonstrate some modest inhibition of Escherichia coli. However, films loaded with ciprofloxacin exhibited excellent antimicrobial activity against both microorganisms. Mucoadhesive properties of these films were evaluated in vitro using a tensile test with a texture analyzer. Freshly excised sheep vaginal mucosa was used as a substrate in these experiments. Each film was put into contact with mucosa and then it was withdrawn measuring the force required to detach the films as a function of distance. These experiments resulted in two parameters, the mucoadhesive force of detachment and work of adhesion. It was established that introduction of polyoxazoline in the films results in the reduction of their mucoadhesive properties compared to pure chitosan. The release of ciprofloxacin from these films was studied in vitro using Franz diffusion cells under the conditions simulating pathological environment in the vagina caused by an infection. The films were placed onto a semi-permeable cellulose membrane, aliquots were taken from the sample port and analyzed using UV spectrophotometer. It was established that the films containing polyoxazoline release greater amount of antibiotic compared to pure chitosan. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested to know more about this work, please read our paper and please sign up for our channel.